Welcome to the Amazon Translate Deep Dive video series. I'm Greg Rushing from AWS, and in this episode, we'll be looking at how you can use the Amazon Translate Batch Translation feature to translate documents, spreadsheets, and PowerPoint files while maintaining your documents format. This is part two of two in this episode. If you're interested in learning more about Amazon Translate, please explore the rest of the videos in this four-part series. Providing information to customers, partners, and colleagues is essential. Language gaps can slow and complicate this process. When your company needs to provide a translated file to partners in another language, you need a way to efficiently perform this translation without undifferentiated manual processes. Amazon Translate's batch translation feature is a great solution for this. Amazon Translate also now supports translation of Office Open XML documents in DocX, XLSX, PPTX, as well as HTML, XML, and TXT formats, so you now have more options to easily translate a variety of file types. In this video, we'll walk through a step-by-step -step process to translate documents on the AWS Management Console. You can also access the Amazon Translate Batch Translation API via the AWS CLI or the AWS SDK. To get started, you'll need to set up an IAM role with the appropriate permissions, organize your files to be translated within an S3 bucket, and then call the Amazon Translate service to perform your document translation. Let's start out by creating an IAM role that will be able to access our files in S3. On the IAM console dashboard, under Access Management, choose Roles, then select Create Role. Under Type of Trusted Entity, choose Another AWS Account and enter your AWS Account ID and go to the next page. Now you'll need to assign a policy. Search for and add Amazon S3 Full Access Policy. On the next page, add tags if you like. Once selected, go to the next page and enter a name for the role. I'm going to use Translate Batch API Demo. Now we need to ensure that the Translate service can utilize this role to access our files for translation. To do this, we'll select the role we just created and choose Edit Trust Relationship on the Trust tab. Enter the following service principles. Service, translate.aws.internal, translate.amazonaws.com. Now that we have finished creating a role that will allow Amazon Translate to access the files within S3 that we want to translate, we can start uploading and organizing our files. Amazon Translate Batch Translation works on documents stored in a folder inside an S3 bucket. First, we need to upload the documents for translation into a folder inside an S3 bucket. This is important because Amazon Translate doesn't work if the file is saved at the root level of the S3 bucket. You'll also want to sort the documents so that the folders contain files of the same type and same language. If you have multiple documents of different file types that you need to translate, you'll need to sort the files so that each Amazon S3 prefix has only one type of document format. For this tutorial, we'll create two buckets, input and output. Within these buckets, we can create folders for each type of file, like docx, xlsx, or pptx. In our case, we'll only be using one file type, so we'll leave it as input and output. I'll upload the document I want to translate into the input folder. Now that we've performed the necessary setup tasks, we're ready to start a batch translation job. We'll start by logging into the Amazon Translate console and choosing Batch Translation on the left panel, then choosing Create Job. For name, we'll enter Batch Translation Demo Job. For source language, we'll choose English. For target language, we want to translate this document into Russian. For input S3 location, Enter the folder location or select it from a list of locations by selecting Select Folder. These are the buckets we created in the previous section. For file format, we'll choose DOCX. For output S3 location, we'll select the output bucket from the list. We aren't applying any custom terminology or parallel data to this job. If you'd like to use these features, they'll be covered in more depth in one of the later videos in this series. For access permissions, select Use an existing IAM rule and choose the IAM role that we created earlier in this video, which we named Translate Batch API Demo. Now click Create Job. Because this is an asynchronous translation, the translation begins after the machine resource for the translation is allocated. This can take up to 15 minutes. Once the job is finished, we can find our translated output file in the output S3 location we designated in the job creation. To perform batch translation jobs using the command line interface or Amazon Translate SDKs, refer to the Amazon Translate Developer Guide linked in the description below. As you can see, document batch translation is easy to use and gives you the option to translate multiple file types while maintaining your document's format. 
To learn more about Amazon Translate, please check out the rest of the videos in this series or visit the product description page at aws.amazon.com forward slash translate. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.